Let's make my absolutely delicious coronation chicken pasties. First up is my short crust pastry ingredients. So I'm going to be using the gem plain flour and I'm going to be mixing that with some salt. I have two egg yolks and um, cold butter and some cold water and I'm going to be adding all of those to the food processor. Now, as you can see there, I've added in my butter, my flour and my salt to the food processor. And I'm just going to blitz this until a fine sandy texture is reached. Now, if you don't have a food processor at home, that's completely OK. Just use a mixing bowl and you can use a fork and break up your butter through the flour. It will take you longer, but you still can do it without a food processor. So that's a really nice sandy texture after being reached. So in here now goes my two egg yolks. Um, and I'm just going to be mixing those through and I'm going to be drizzling in my cold water until a nice dough forms. You may not need all of the cold water, so just add it sparingly until you form a nice smooth short crust pastry dough. Now, so as you can see, the dough has all come together here. There's still a few little loose bits on the bottom. So I'm just going to turn this now out onto a lightly floured work surface and um, shape it and pop that into the fridge to rest for 30 minutes. Now that my pastry is resting in the fridge, it's time to make this delicious chicken coronation filling. So I'm going to be cooking some chicken breasts and I'm going to be adding some of these gorgeous flavours. I have some spring onions, I have these small little sweet peppers. You can add chilli if you want to add more heat. I'm going to keep this quite um, mild in flavour. Some onions, um, I'm going to be adding in some sour cream at the end just to give that a nice creamy texture. Um, I'm going to be thickening up my sauce with some flour. I have some chicken stock here and my curry powder. You can use any curry spice blend that you want. This is just a generic mixed blend. And um, if you want to use a Madras curry or a peri peri spice, whatever you like. Um, and then I'm going to be adding in some of the gem gourmet diced apricots, the dried uh, gourmet raisins and some blanched almonds for a nice crunch. So that's what we're going to need. Let's get started. I've just added my onions to a pan with some oil and I'm going to be cooking this down for about 8 to 10 minutes until the onions soften up and go translucent. Now that the onions have softened up, time to add in that diced chicken. Top of my chicken now, I'm going to be adding in my curry powder and my flour and I'm going to be mixing this well together before I add in my chicken stock. To this, add in the chicken stock and mix well. So I'm just gonna turn down the heat now and continue to cook this until the chicken is fully cooked. And um, we still need to add in our gorgeous sweet peppers, spring onion, all of those beautiful gem dried fruit and nuts. And then of course, finish off with the creme fraiche to give that a beautiful creamy finish. And then this is going to be chilled down in the fridge because it needs to be cold before we assemble our pasties. In here I have my spring onions and my sweet red peppers. Just going to mix those through adds a beautiful flavour and colour and then finally I have in here my gem dried apricots and my gem dried raisins and my roughly chopped blanched almonds. So I've just added in a spoon of the creme fraiche there. As you can see, it gives it a beautiful creamy finish. So I am going to take this off the heat now. I'm going to pop that into the fridge and I'm just going to let that cool down and that will be ready to um, assemble into our pasties. I'd like my filling to cool down that little bit faster because my pastry should be ready shortly. So I'm just spreading this out as thin as I can. And obviously the thinner you spread it, the faster it will chill. So I'm going to pop that into the fridge now and let that cool completely.
That is my six pastry discs all rolled out. My filling is now cold, so it's time to assemble. So that is all six of my Cornish pasties filled. So as you've seen from the previous video, I just filled it, egg washed it, folded it in half, just like a crescent shape, and then just pinched the edges in, in this design here. Now you can absolutely just use a fork and press the fork down on the edges to seal that up. So just before these go into the oven, I'm just gonna give them a brush with egg wash, because that's gonna give them a beautiful golden brown color in the oven and just to allow the steam to come out while it's baking just make a small incision make a small hole just like so and that will allow the steam to leave them when it's baking and they are ready to go into the preheated oven So that is our pasties just out of the oven. Look at that for a gorgeous golden brown sheen. Filling is still bubbling away there. Um, absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna allow these to sit now and rest for about five minutes before I serve them up because they are super, super hot. And that's it guys. That is my super tasty and delicious carnation chicken pasties. A really, really nice lunchbox treat, lunch or dinner dish. So yes, I hope that's given you some inspiration. And if you do make these at home, please do let me know.